What's going on everybody? Spiker Zenith here. Uh, today I'm going to be playing a new series uh, involving the game Blood. Uh, this is another DOS game uh, from the early 90s. Um, and I'm just opening it now. I uh, got it on eBay, the original game. I never actually played this, so I'm very excited to play through it. I did play the shareware, so I can't really say I didn't play the game at all. Um, this is a two-disc game, I guess, which is pretty impressive. So what I'm going to do is put disc one in. Um, this is in really good shape for getting it for $10. All right, putting the first CD in. I'm going to run the installer from the CD once it's loaded up. Uh, so we're going to going to click on that and my drive letter is F so we're going to mount F as F colon slash that do its thing okay and we're going to also mount D as D colon slash DOS games where I'm putting all of that okay so we're going to go into F and directory, check the directory, and we're looking for a setup. Uh, let's see, some sort of setup file. Maybe setup? Nope. All right, let's see here. Directory, check the directory. Uh, I have no idea what file I need. DIR is like W. That shows everything in one window. Uh, let's see, install.exe. All right, we're gonna run that. Oh, that's nice. That's quality for back in the day. Installation program sub to your hard disk drive. Enter to continue. Nope, don't want it on C. I want it on D slash uh, blood, because D is low is DOS games. So I right, just hit enter, and here we go. And we will come back when this is installed. Parental Advisory Blood is an extremely violent game and is intended only for mature audiences. Remember, we are serious gamers committed to bringing you the best in the entertainment software. Sometimes that means things need to get bloody. Oh man, Monolith. How oh, I miss companies like you. Okay, and we are at 100%. Um, that took an awful long time. Um, it's it at this time the video is at about 20 minutes. Um, I've obviously I've sped through that section so you wouldn't have to uh, sit there and watch it go. But that just goes to show that even old software um, takes forever to install on a new system. Uh, it turns out the second disc is just like a a video "Love You to Death" I guess by to somebody named Type O Negative. Uh, there's shareware for Rebel Moon Rising, Star Command, and Tiger Shark, um, which I'm not sure if I'm going to mess with those at all. Uh, so once this is uh, done doing its thing, I'm going to start the game. All right, and it's saying on here that I uh, need to run the setup to complete the installation process. So I'm going to click Enter to continue. So I click on the window again, Enter to continue. A uh, bunch of stuff to read that I don't care about. D colon blood. Wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Go with setup, maybe? Okay. Apparently it is setup. I didn't have to look. Uh, sound setup. Let's go ahead and choose sound effects. Uh, this is going to be very similar uh, to the video on Duke Nukem 3D. Sound blaster is going to be sound. I'm just going to use that default. Um, I could probably put it to 32 voices. 16 bit, stereo, uh, 44. I'll test sound effects. <laughs> That's the greatest noise ever. Uh, we're going to choose a music card as well. That'll just be Sound Blaster also. Uh, testing music. 
Yep, good deal. Yeah, that's the music. All right, let's turn this down here a little bit. The 180. Uh, 140. Okay. All right, gonna hit escape to exit. Um, I don't know if I need to change any of the controller things. It's gonna be keyboard and mouse. Set up keyboard. Uh, let's go ahead and change this up. Show opponent's weapon up, down, left. Okay, so I need to change jump and show opponent's weapon. Oh, we go strafe left, strafe right. All right, so let's go with delete deletes. Oh, delete delete. Okay, straight left, straight right, jump, maybe space, open in space, crouch is going to be Z, so it's going to be very similar to uh, Duke Nukem 3D. Open is going to be E. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I'm willing to bet I'm going to need to change a couple other things. Inventory use. Yeah, this is the exact same. Duke Nukem 3D. Apparently this was uh, the common way of doing it back then. You, yep, yep, all that stuff's the same. Opponent's weapon, I don't need that. Uh, let's see, where did jump go? I changed it, but did it? Uh, let's see, space, jump. Well, I guess we'll have to see if I screwed that up at all. Alright, let's go with that. So we're going to set up mouse. Uh, special fire, right button does not need forward. Let's, let's get rid of that. And let's make the right button special fire. Special fire, special fire, where are you? Weapon, special fire. That's going to be the right click. Uh, middle button, probably not even necessary. Uh, what would I want that to be? Probably nothing. Nothing. Let's just leave that alone. Uh, let's see here. Mouse sensitivity is okay. Toggle button. Okay, so we're gonna set up advanced mouse setup. See, okay. Uh, we do Y axis and I'm going to. Turn that to negative one. Next axis should be fine. Uh, let's leave it alone. I believe I turn mouse look on, that'll take care of it. All right, let's see what this does. Save and launch blood. Super excited. Yeah. Is this supposed to be like thunder? I think it is. Awesome. I live again. Well, there's four episodes to this. Anyway, I'm just gonna check the controls. Okay, so if I push I, I push live it. again. That is loud. Okay, so I'm gonna push U and it seems my mouse aiming is working. Left, right, jump. D is done. D is going to be used. So it looks like the controls work. All right, well, that is how you set up Blood, the original game, on the PC using DOSBox. I'm going to check one more setting real quick. So if you want to stick around and look at that, I believe the video setting is what I need to look at. Let's check up the setup again. All right, let's go to screen setup. Yeah, that's what I need to do. 800 by 600. Now we're going to save and launch again. I don't want to forget to do that. A bit better. Let's skip through this. That's yeah, a little bit better. I live again. All right. All right, well, that was a uh, quick tutorial on how to uh, get the original blood working using DOSBox for PC. Um, if you have any uh, questions, uh, comments, or any other information to add to this, uh, put it in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.